Well, it was a rough night for a lot of people around Mobile County. Strong storms brought high winds and lightning and brought down a number of tree limbs and utility lines. News 5's Chad Petrie has a look at some of the damage. Early this morning, Foul River firefighters responded to this motor home that burns down in Codan. The owner claimed it was a lightning strike. Another viewer in Grand Bay sent us these pictures of a big tree that fell on top of a car. Some of the worst property damage was this barn along Ben Hamilton Road. Half the roof was torn off, all while the homeowner was sleeping. We didn't know anything uh, about that until I didn't know until this morning. Some of the roof ended up on the ground and the rest on top of the part that's still standing. And I don't know if it went through the back and blew it up or, or what, but I went back on the back part over there. Some trees um, uh, messed up on the back part. To find storm damage in Mobile County, some days all you have to do is follow the Alabama power trucks. I found crews working to get the lights back on around Glen Fitch Road near Rebecca's home. It was like a little hurricane came through. I wasn't expecting it nor prepared for it. We also saw storm damage in West Mobile with at least one tree on utility lines on Noble Drive. And in downtown, we saw this tree down in the middle of Washington Avenue and Savannah Street. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. Now, there were no reports of serious injuries last night. The motorhome that burned is 